Welcome back, everybody. We've been working on patience for the entire month of March. And we have learned so far that patience is waiting until later with what you want now. And it's hard. The first week, we learned that when you think you can't wait, remember, God is with you. Last week, we talked about when you think you can't wait, remember what is true. And today, we're going to talk about when you think you can't wait, remember it could cost you. Like it cost Esau in today's story, which I hope you've already listened to. This is a hard story because patience is so hard. And remember, if you don't have patience, it could cost you. I'm going to give an example of what impatience would look like at a couple different ages of a kid or a young adult. And then after I do, I want you to think of an example of impatience that you've seen, whether yourself or a friend or someone else you know, especially bonus points if it's the age I'm talking about. Age five. Pretend Esau is five years old. He has a priceless collection of action figures from a show that he loves, but his cousin has a lollipop. So he trades all of his action figures for one huge lollipop. Impatience can be costly. Can you think of some impatient examples a five-year-old might have? Pretend Esau is now nine years old. He is waiting for his Christmas bike to be delivered. He ordered it at Christmas and he is so excited now that it's spring. And while he's waiting, his cousin gets his skateboard out. And he tells his cousin, I will give you my bike if you will let me ride your skateboard right now. Ooh, impatience can be costly. Can you think of an example of impatience that a nine-year-old might have? Pretend Esau at age 10. Esau knows that the car belongs to his dad, but his neighbor has a new cool pair of Jordans, the best shoes he never knew that he always wanted. Pretend Esau trades his dad's car for his neighbor's shoes. Impatience can cost you. Can you think of an example a 10 year old might have with impatience? Last one pretend Esau at age 14. Pretend Esau was awarded a basketball camp scholarship. He is so excited to attend and up his game. But then his little brother gets a PS4 and pretend Esau just wants to play one game so he gives up his basketball camp scholarship to play the game. Pretend Esau needs to learn that impatience can be costly. Can you think of an example that 14-year-old might have with impatience? These days, we don't have the same traditions as Esau's family did around birthrights. So it's a little bit more difficult for us to stand how important it was that Esau gave up his birthright or getting everything his dad owned <laughs> for a meal. It's not like Esau was going to starve for missing a lunch, but he gave up something that was completely important for something that wasn't very important. And it cost him. How has this ever happened to you? Has there ever been a time in your life where you gave up something that was very important for something that wasn't very important? <laughs> so why is it important to practice waiting now as a kid instead of waiting to learn it later when you're a teenager or an adult? I think it's really important to practice now because the more practice you have, the better it will, you'll get at it. The more practice you have now as a kid, the fewer mistakes and costs you'll have from not being patient that whole time. So if there's one thing I could counsel you is don't wait to practice being patient.